Taurus, welcome. It's Jeff here at Raise Your Vibration TV, and that means it's time for your weekly tarot reading. This tarot reading is going to be from May 27th all the way to June 3rd. So welcome. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the like, put a comment in there. Yes, Taurus, we are moving out of Taurus season and into Gemini season. So a lot of traveling, a lot of thinking, a lot of communication, seeing both sides, juggling all that, trying to juggle everything in our lives, you know. Um, we really don't have too much going on this week, but we are getting the stage set to kind of release with this uh, full moon in Sagittarius that happened on Thursday, uh, the 23rd. So we're still, we still have time to kind of process this energy and letting go of beliefs and, and making plans to travel and just making plans for the future and and seeing your goals actualized and having them come to fruition. So let's see what the cards got for the week, how we're dealing with the energies, what we need to be aware of. Okay. <clears throat> let's see here. Okay, this is what we got. All right, Taurus. Hmm, that was a little tricky, but it all worked out. So this is our energy for the week. We have what we need to work on, what we need to release, what we need to be aware of in order to move forward in this other energy that's present here, and what we need to embrace for the week, and what we need to keep reminding ourselves, and how we um, work through the operation of the energy of the week. And then this is the outcome, which is pretty damn good. All right? So... It almost seems like there's an imbalance here and you're kind of a little upset about the imbalance. This almost may be triggering you from past things. Um, and I don't know. I just, I just feel like for some of you, it may be financial. It may be trying to balance that work life, you know, home life, that kind of thing, trying to get that going. But there's some things you need to release in order for this to work out because it, it is going to smooth out complete cycles and all of that. We'll get to that. We have the Three of Swords, Eight of Swords, and King of Cups. What this entails is, you know, I'm, I'm getting this feeling of hurt from the past, betrayal. You know, it, it may not be so dramatic. It, it's almost like you're beating yourself up about it and you're not expressing yourself and you're not handling the stormy waters that you're being tested with. Um, instead, you're kind of taking it inward and not releasing this. So it would it would be best for you to release this issue from the past and get in touch with your feelings, get in touch with your emotions. The Queen of Pentacles here is the energy that you need to embrace. And this is this is you, Taurus. This is you grounded, protected, safe guided, and knowing that what you deserve will come to you. You know this, but for some reason, maybe the results haven't balanced out yet and you therefore feel like it's not going to happen. Interesting read here, but it all is about grounding. So I would get out in nature, get in tune with the earth, ground, be practical about things, handle things on not so much of an emotional level, okay? Now, the outcome is the Six of Pentacles, justice, and the world. This is something working out in your favor, something that comes full circle. The offer is being made here. You have to be totally convinced that the offer is going to be, it's coming to you, you know, because it, it, this coin is being handed to you and you're holding it. You know what I mean? So right there, it's already saying that this is going to balance out. Now, another part of this could be only put your energy into, into things that are going to reciprocate, that are going to be an equal measure. We don't want to give to relationships, especially. That's not going to pay off, that you're constantly giving in there and you're not getting a, a reciprocating energy. Energy is supposed to reciprocate. It's just not supposed to be a one-way circuit. And I think that's what you're realizing with some of these 
Past hurts maybe with a relationship, but it does seem like things are going to balance out because you know that you are capable of achieving balance. So that's the whole kit and caboodle for this week. So let's clarify and see what else they can add to this. Mm. Just those cards, huh? Okay. Yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty evident in what you have to do. It's about taking action. Knight of Swords, Page of Wands, looking at a new beginning. Knight of Swords, taking action to get rid of this, whatever it is. And the Six of Swords is moving on. So this Knight of Swords comes rushing in. And the Six of Swords, again, moving from very turbulent water to still and calm water. This is you finding that peace within. This is, that, this is you feeling good, looking good. This is a time for a glow up for you, you know, but things are going to work out in your favor. So don't believe the hype. Don't believe what's going on in your mind because the Knight of Swords, the Six of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Three of Swords is saying that there is some kind of mental conflict that you've got to release. And I'm going to tell you, the opportunities come in when, once you do and realize exactly what it is. Okay. Got some oracles. All right. We have emotional loss. There's no doubt about that. There's no doubt about that. Actually, I want to put this here. And these here. Now, in order for us to really gain a hold of this, we need to speak our truth because again, you're not you're you're holding this in. And the the crux is the throat chakra. Speak your truth. Say what you want to come into existence, what you want to release. This is a major transformation for you. And it's going to make you feel really good here. Really good. And then we have foundations and achievements. This is four of wands. This is restoring harmony. So anything that's out of harmony now, take the action to put it back into place. If something is out of harmony because you're giving energy to it and it's not paying off, drop it. Why hang on to it in the hopes that it will? No, that's not happening, Taurus. It's not happening. You make your own luck and destiny. And it's time for you to speak your truth. What do you want from the universe? What do you want for yourself? Don't think that the you know there's nothing left. Yeah, some of you are feeling really alone. Look at that full moon. That could have happened around the 23rd. You're still processing that energy. It's time to release this. Listen to your intuition with the high priestess here. There's some good sound advice here. Opportunity beckons another four. I'm telling you guys, the opportunity is here for you. Will you claim it? Or will you just let it fall to the wayside? Listen to your intuition. Listen to your inner guidance. It will transform you this week. It'll put you on a very good path. I'll tell you that much. All right, let's get let's look at love. What do we got for love for Taurus? Oh boy. Yeah, the world cards out. This is a great change in love here. Um, it's time to let go of the wishy-washiness. Stop deceiving yourself. For some of you in your relationships. I think that you are thinking there's something other than it seems. And I think it's all triggered by something that happened from the past. And it's not really the situation. And if it is, I think that's your calling card to leave. The King of Wands says I'm changing. The Two of Wands is ready for a commitment. Ready to make those plans happen. I see a lot of forward movement in relationships, a lot of things changing. Um, the only thing you need to do is to be very, very, very confident. That transformation, I think, is going to make you confident because you're letting this go and you're looking forward to change in a relationship. And some of you may be dealing with a Leo. There's a lot of Leo energy here, King of Wands, the Sun. And then we have an offer coming in. Again, the universe, look at the way that the... Offer coming in, love, jobs, whatever. Again, the world. That's three times the world has come out. Opportunity beckons the world, the world. Lots of traveling opportunities here. Romantic getaway. 
I don't know. There seems to be some kind of deception. If you feel like you're being deceived, speak your truth. Maybe you'll find out that it was all in your head. You know? And a relief will come over you. Let's get messages of love for you, Taurus. Yep. Apology. For some of you in this relationship, you can expect the apology you want to hear. And that then that energy will reciprocate. You know, maybe you're telling yourself, oh, they'll never, you know, I, I, I see apology, throat chakra, lots of swords, ace of pentacles, the offers being made. Hmm. Trust. It is safe to trust in this situation. Trust your intuition. Make that change. Wait, the timing is not quite right. For some of you, it isn't because you don't have the self-confidence in order to see the end game out of this and to move forward. You're not looking at the opportunity that's very present for you this week. So I would jump on the bandwagon with that. Trust your intuition. You will get what you want. Cycles will complete, but we need to let go of this and stop anticipating that apology and just know that if, if it's deserving then you'll get it and you are deserving. You see what I'm saying? Hmm. Turning point, definitely. Look at that, resolution. Taurus, whatever it is that you've been struggling with is about to be resolved. Hmm. Remember that resolutions don't always happen in the way we hope or want. That's important for you. But being able to move forward and start fresh always br brings relief. And that is basically the crux of this reading, guys. Trust your intuition. Let this go. Pay attention to 555. That is no more conflict. And again, resolution. We're at the halfway point. Taurus, powerful reading. Pay attention to it. That's going to do it for this week. Thank you so much. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Put I claim it in the comments, and I will see you next week.